Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to part 71 of Madness Project Nexus Arena Mode. Today, we'll be continuing our Madness Only playthrough. Not much happened since last time. I colored my outfit. As you can see, I now have a red visor. And I played through Industrial Zone twice to get some extra skill points. All on Madness, by the way. I'm only doing everything on Madness. Even the stuff you don't see, I do on Madness. It kind of... Kind of sucks for for leveling hirelings. Uh, I might tell you about that later. I want to point out the small detail. There's little pools of water on the helipad. Look, as I walk around, you can see it right here, and there's another one over here. Little details like that make a game feel more alive. I'm just saying. So here we are, wave seven. This is uh madness. It's madness. I always forget. I always forget. Please. Please, game. <laughs> Nate Game, no! <laughs> Doesn't like it when I turn the music off! <laughs> I don't even know what music I'm gonna use today. So... It's warm in here! I wonder why. It might be all the lava. I can one-tap most of these guys with the short sword I have. We're gonna complete Industrial Zone here, and we'll also complete the... Contract mission afterwards because we unlock one and that allows us to increase our hirelings levels and that's important for me because I like to do the gag thing Ow my face Did that dude just start shooting his friend he saw a chance and he took it damn I accidentally do the critical hits, by the way. Like, you might be thinking, oh man, he's so good. The critical hits are accident because I just double click. Like, if you notice there, I clicked three times because he blocked the first attack, but <laughs> the critical hits are an accident. It's not me being good at the game, I swear. But we do have to deal with these guys now. They have attack bar as well, as you can see. And, and never mind, he just jumped into the fire. He wanted to solve himself this problem. Oh. Yeah, you come running at me. You pay the price, fool. It shouldn't take too long because, again, look, we're playing on Madness difficulty. Everything dies super quickly. So as long as I don't mess up, I'm not gonna die. It's great. That's why I love Madness difficulty. It's like, you're just as tough as the enemy now. It's no more like, oh man, they ate a bunch of freaking, like, power bars or whatever and are now unkillable. Right? Because that stuff in game is lame. Like, uh, Skyrim, like, set it to legendary difficulty. Oh man, every single bandit takes, like, 5,000 hits with a, like, sword to kill. You know, until you, like, break it with enchanting and alchemy. I'm trying to throw rocks at these guys, and it's not working. I'm just gonna pull out a gun and steal their pocket change. Look at that! I could buy a soda. Actually, with how money works in the madness world, how much would a soda cost? Like, these guns are thousands of dollars, but every single one of these guys is dropping, like... At least 20? Whoops. These rocks are lame. Another thing I want to point out here is that the rocks have, uh, recoil. Uh, they're rocks, dude. Like, I can only think about a rock with, like, a scope on it. And the idea is just as dumb as a knife with a bipod. Really? Like, this is something that... I joked about in, in school a lot. I think it was, uh, someone was talking about, like, Call of Duty attachments or whatever. And I made a joke about, like, yeah, I, I like a knife with an underbarrel grenade launcher. And maybe a, like, four-time scope and an underbarrel bayonet. Imagine a knife with an underbarrel bayonet. It's just a knife with another knife taped to it. <laughs> That man had a slow, painful death where he realized his blood was leaving him faster than he could stop it. Oh, three of those guys jumped out. Okay. So, how are you doing today? I, I forgot to ask. I, I feel impolite. Are you doing well? I hope you're doing well. Maybe treat yourself with some ice water, because ice water is good. And I'm going to point out now, the flavor of water is dependent on its temperature. I'm not kidding. You, you, th you think I'm kidding. No, that's, like, that's a real thing. Like, try some cold water and then try some warm water. They taste different. I have no idea how temperatures work, so who knows why that's a thing. 
right. Someone had suggest. Someone had suggested a playthrough where I mo mock. No, I masquerade. What, what would be the right word? Oh, okay. I thought there was one dude left standing. Sometimes the AI breaks, and I think I lobotomize people with what I'm doing to their friends. But I masquerade as Jesus. You know, with I can't give myself the halo. Like all of you that. Anyone who's thinking, oh man, you have no more madness and not enough madness installed, I'm thinking of like just enough items from Minecraft. <laughs> I've been playing some modded Minecraft in my off time. Ay, 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 there's so much crap in the mod pack I chose. But I can spawn stuff in. Like I can give myself money, boon tokens, I can level up my hirelings, my attributes. I could even wipe my own imprints if I wanted to. I could heal myself, I could refill my guns, which, to be honest, being able to refill your guns and heal yourself, you should be able to do that mid-wave using your money. I mean, it could just be another upgrade. You know what I'm saying? But I already know you could do all this stuff. Like, you could even change your voice set, which I might actually do for this character, because he seems like... A mercenary seems like the character... What was that? Seems like the character who'd have a, a different voice. I don't know which one. I'd have to go look through all of them. You could change your blood color, but you can already do that in-game. And your animation type. Which is how I make myself look like Hank or Jesus or whatever you have it. I mean, even, like, some zombies are in here, too. I don't know why, uh, some of those have their own animation sets. They could just be the same one, like Tower Guard 1, 2, and 3. Um, I think those guys just are slightly bigger. I don't know. I don't know the exact name, because game files are weird. Especially when you don't have, like, the base ones and you have to, like, extract them. I don't know how this game does it. I just got shot in the back. Guns still hurt because I don't have a full tack bar. I only have, like, a grazing tack bar. Still protects me, though. And I noticed critical hits go through armor. Like that dude. Ah. Uh, see? These guys have helmets. But a lot of the times my critical hits just down them in one hit. Or it's one of the skills I got. But I got the positioning skill, like this guy. See, it took off his helmet that time because it wasn't a crit. And that killed him. And that, I actually just impaled him with the railing. All right. Your friend just got you killed and jumped into the fire. You know, I, I'd be kind of interested in having, like, end game stats. Like, think of uh, Le Left or Dead, for example. When you finish a mission, it shows you, like, who had the most accuracy, who had the most headshots, who did the most friendly fire things, or whatever. And I'm out of melee. I was going to say ammo for my sword. I was going to say... I wanted to say durability, but my mind was like, it's melee ammo. What is that? Like, uh, Densky from... What, what is it? Call of Duty Zombies. I'm out of gun juice. Right. Right. The end of wave stats. It show you, like, how many melee kills you got, how many parries you did, how many shots missed you, how many enemy-friendly kills there were, because I'd like to know that. I'd like to see how often the enemy, like, kills their friends, and how often they, like, off themselves. Also, one of my favorite things was the accuracy. Whenever I was playing Left 4 Dead, I'd always have, like, twice as much headshots as all of my friends. But my accuracy would be just as shit at, like, 40... 30% or whatever. It's, that's just how it goes. I think I got my headshots up to, like, 45 or so percent around there. And I was like, oh, man, I headshot people. It's great. Oh, wow, I crit that guy and didn't kill... I... Maybe it's because the axe, I think it does... No, the axe does the amount... It does four damage, while the short sword does four damage as well. The axe has piercing, which is weird that it didn't one-tap that guy. The machetes do more damage, though. By, like, 10%. It's like 0.5. What is happening? Fine. I don't know why I couldn't hit him. I want to get away from him. I'm so bad with throwing weapons, but man, do I love the fact that everything just dies immediately. 
I just impaled that dude with a hammer. That takes some strength. Hey, look at this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing because he's stuck behind a box. I'm going to beat you with a meat hook, sir. What are the stats on this bad boy? It does even less damage than the axe. Uh, I'll take a hammer, I guess. The hammer actually does seven damage compared to the four that our sword does, but it swings through people. The, the sword does. Granted, some of these guys are wearing armor, so I guess the hammer's, the hammer's better. Because hammers are better for armor. Because, you know, being in a metal suit that's getting crunched up, yeah, not the best idea. Like, fun fact about old medieval times with knights and stuff, if, if you fell over in, like, a, a field, like, if you were still alive but you couldn't get up in the armor because it was so heavy, you would just bake in the sun. Like, it, it's kind of terrifying to think about it. Goodbye, buddy. Woo! I wish I could choose where I'm throwing them. It'd be fun to throw them into people. Again! Grab people's bodies! It'd be great! Look at them tokens! I didn't get any acrobatics or gun skills. I got a bunch of melee. Because I, I want to use melee right now. Say, on your way back, we get a call from Boss Man downstairs. Seem you have a visitor, mate. Yeah, flying's a good job! We also should have unlocked more weapons. Hey, we unlocked my favorite gun. I don't know why this is my favorite gun, actually. If I had to choose, like, a magazine-type handgun, like one of these, it'd be the 5.7. But if I just chose any handgun, it'd probably be... Say, I don't know. The 500 Magnum. Because I love sniper-type weapons, and that's one of them. Again, the half mag... It's like triple the cost of the thing we unlocked before it. But hey, we can get an ammo belt now, so there's that. I don't think we can get anything else. We get, uh, walrus tusks. I don't know why these are in the game. Where did these even come from? Jebediah's glasses. Agency shades. Our shooting glasses are good. But this is one of the best face skiers, I think, in the game. The N51 visor. Five armor, one encumbrance. The rest of these have, like, more encumbrance and, and the cosmetic. I just wish I could change the, uh, look of stuff. So I could have, like, super protection and look cool. Hey, Chief, you've got a visitor. Were we expecting anyone? No. Hello. Looks like you've got this operation well in hand. Good job. I think you have more of a sinister voice. I'm kind of an expert at this point. My character absolutely have a monotone voice. It looks like you've got a handle on the daily operations of this headquarter. That means it's time we step things up and advance to phase two. Right, phase two. Time to start thinking about the mandatus. The mandibles. Huh, mandatus. Should I be hearing any of this? I have a lead on your next contract mission. Take the bus to the coordinates I'll provide and acquire the tech necessary to begin assembly on the enmeshment engine. Oh, right. We got to deal with the dual-wielding mafia bros. Oh, boy. The one thing that I don't like about the dialogue is that if I hit the skip button, it sometimes skips the next dialogue. So, like, let's say I'm done reading it and I hit the skip button, it will then skip the next dialogue, because the previous one, I guess, was in the middle of ending when I hit the skip button? I don't know. Let's just go f Oh! Oh! I almost forgot! Oh, no, I guess... Cool. We're better at fisticuffs now. Right, the goods. Here we go. Eh, I'll leave this song off. I play these songs all the time, like Rock and Loaded. Like, sure, it's a good song and all, but I forgot to give myself throwing daggers, didn't I? I still have rocks. I'm a damn Neanderthal. Yep, I'm so glad I bought the... <laughs> I'm so glad I bought Critical Shot. Get those up ahead for us. Hold up, hold up, I'm reloading. Now, I love doing this. 
whoa, what happened to that dude's corpse in the background? The meaty headshots, like, mmm, yes. More of that in games, thank you. Like, good player feedback. I guess it's different from eye candy? Like, the medic medi gun, specifically the beam from Team Fortress 2. The beam has, like, this color that matches the team. You know, that's to let you know that someone is healing someone else. But the eye candy is the little pluses and the swirly motion of the beam. It could just be like a red laser and be boring and stuff. Here's gonna be the first fun segment. Yeah, these shotgun guys are absolutely gonna tear me apart. Yeah, they can take a few hits from my sword too. What was that? Did I just activate slow motion from being shot? Oh, that was close. I'm so glad those guys couldn't hit me. And also, I think it's an, something that was added by the mod. But I can hit, like, the one key, the two key, the three key. There's not really much of an animation there. Four and five to do different animations. That wasn't in the base game. I think that's cool. I can just, like, smash myself in the head whenever I want. Which is great. I like that idea. I don't have a lot of ammo in this gun. Uh, do you guys have anything for me? Uh, Deagle? You know what? Shotgun. Oh, this one has 12 shots. As long as I'm good with my bullet placement, I'll be able to get more usage out of this. Please do not throw Molotovs at me. I mean, he did exactly what I told him not to do. Good thing these guys can't pull weapons off of their back. Oh. You know, I can't pick up this Molotov, but I want to throw it. Are you guys talking? I can't hear the sound of you chewing on bullets. That was fun and easy. Mashy! Like old mafia guys. I love how cheesy some of the stuff in this game is. I don't. Oh, if I had a better gun, I could actually take out one of his freaking corpuses right now. Ah, just kidding. The shotguns in this game are realistic. I can kill you from a while away. A while? A mile. Well, no. That's about shotgun range right there. Like, across this room. Again, it's a tube that's shooting a bunch of balls out of it. It's not, like, spreading out from the explosion. The explosion's in the barrel. Oh, baby. I get to use his Tommy guns. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, how do you like being melted, losers? You know what? I'm gonna take me some souvenirs and ruin this. Watch how bad I messed this up. Well, what's the matter? You on the ground, pal? See, this is why I love madness difficulty. I was quicker on the draw, therefore everyone dies. Can I swing this fire axe? Nope. I don't have enough strength to swing that fire axe. Right. I take the deagle, but I didn't pick up dual wielding because I'm stupid. You know what? You get down there. We're gonna throw this down there. We're gonna throw this down there. We're gonna throw this down there. We're having a whole pizza party! Oh right, I can also spawn in weapons and armor. I can't spawn in Jesus' Halo. That's the one thing through all- I've looked through every single list of armor that you can get in the, uh, Not Enough Madness mod. You can't spawn in- that dude was on fire. You can't spawn in the, uh, Jesus' Halo. Oh, you are uh, gonna pay, paisano! Can we please just talk normal and um, whack this Joker already? Oh, sure thing, Mario! I was on fire. 
The fire is killing them just as much as me. The pizza, by the way, is a weapon that you can get with, with the mod. Ironically, I lost health to the pizza. Yeah, I like pineapple on pizza, but only Hawaiian pizza, right? It has to have ham on it, too. Pineapple by itself, uh, why? This one's full. We don't need it anymore. But hey, you know, I'll take the Tommy gun for looks. I have a spatula and a Tommy gun. And all I gotta do is say, I thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm going to enjoy today, as I charge at them with a the spatula, and it'll tear the- terrify the crap out of them. Oh, it makes a whipping noise. Still walking, huh? Need me to put you down one more time? Also, I'm reading all this so that... Whoa, hang on a second. Uh, I'm Estesio. Truce, I'm not here to get beat up again. I'm reading this because it's been a while since I have. Look, I'm not really a chef, okay? I can spin a mean noodle, but the vend device don't keep me around because I'm handy in the kitchen. I'm actually part of a smuggling network that moves black market goods around Nevada Central, and I'm looking at you rifle through these crates of tech. I'm thinking you're a person who could use my talents. I'm building an organization that demands some major hardware. I'm talking weapons. If I bring you on board, then I better not have any trouble with you, got it? I think by now I'd remember that I don't. Capiche, and listen, if the money's good, I'm your client for life. You've got my word. I'm holding you to it. Now make yourself useful and grab a crate. Let's get these parts back to headquarters before they're missed. Arena Aren't they his in the first place? Whatever. Look at all this stuff I get. First time bonus. Look, I got some acrobatics because of all the running around I did. Was it... Did Crackdown do it where when you were earning the stuff, it'd show a little pop-up above your head? Like, oh, plus uh, green for acrobatics, plus blue for gun skill, plus purple for driving or whatever. Look. I can fire this man. I mean, he's bulletproof, so why would I fire at him? But if you want to know, if you really want to know, I'm going to spoil the magic right now. When I'm trying to get hirelings for jokes and whatnot, you know, reoccurring characters, you do this, summon new recruits, hit hire, cycle through the names, you don't have any. Hit summon, hit hire, cycle through the names. Do this for hours, by the way. The hell was that? I've done that for hours just to get Morris back. I hope you all understand that I do tedious crap like that. Just throw that anywhere, Amiko. Why are you being careful? Excellent acquisitions. This is everything we need to install an enmeshment drive and operate the enmeshment program. I'd like to know what the enmeshment program is. Like, sure, we go through the game and fight the skull robot. Let me know when it's done, I've got work to do. But we don't know what happens to, like, everyone when that happens. I guess, like, we just go back in time, don't we? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Now we got even more stuff unlocked, right? Cool, we can buy this hammer now. And the longsword, we're gonna buy one of each. Now let me see. Yeah, look, I can swing it fast. That's all we care about. The hammer? Yeah, yeah, we want the longsword. I'm kind of debating on that, though. We want a gun on the secondary because, you know, it's madness difficulty. Eh, skills. That's for later. Let's see how long it's been. Around 30 minutes. Well, for me. For you, it's probably been like 25 or something. Were you guys just trying to leave with that stuff? You're not leaving! Get back and fight, you cowards! So, I guess this is where we're gonna end episode 71. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and take care. I'll catch you next time.